the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been given a higher role within the monarchy, owing to their immense popularity. The couple are expected to return to royal duties this week as their children Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis return to school. William and Kate are stepping up to the plate as the Queen reduces her royal engagement schedule, according to royal author Andrew Loney. The couple are also expected to move to Windsor in the coming weeks and months, where they can be nearer the Queen, upping sticks from their Anne Mahal country home in Norfolk. Anne Mahal was a perfect base for the Cambridges when William accepted a full-time role as a pilot within the East Anglian Air Ambulance eight years ago, a role he took after his service as an RAF search and rescue pilot came to an end. The royals frequently don military uniforms to carry out their duties, and it appears William TMS outfits go down particularly well with wife Kate Middleton. William graduated from the Sandhurst Military Academy in 2006, five years before the royal wedding. Unlike his younger brother Prince Harry, William did not serve in Afghanistan, owing to ministerial advice against placing him in dangerous situations. Kate attended the ceremony with her parents Carol and Michael Middleton, as senior royals including the Queen watched William TMS Big Day. Fifteen years on from the graduation, a lip reader has revealed Kate TMS cheeky comment. The lip reader told True Royalty TMS documentary Royal Wives trademark that Kate whispered, I love him in uniform, he TMS so, so sexy. One royal expert said this was the moment she knew Kate and William would one day end up husband and wife. Rebecca English told the Channel 5 documentary William and Kate, too good to be true trademark, we hadn't TMT expected Kate and her family to turn up, and myself and a number of photographers and journalists were all standing on a press stand together. Suddenly out of the corner of my eye we saw Kate and her mother and father being ushered down to the front of the seating. I remember turning to the person next to me and saying that TMS it, it TMS a done deal. This woman is going to be our future queen. The couple split just months later, reportedly due to the prince moving to an army camp in Dorset while Kate was still living in London. Thankfully, the split did not last long, and reports began to emerge that they had rekindled their relationships soon after the concert for Diana at Wembley Stadium in July 2007, where they sat two rows apart. William eventually got down on one knee while the couple were on holiday in Kenya, and the world knew three weeks later after a Clarence House announcement. They were married in April 2011 at Westminster Abbey, with an estimate global audience of around 300 million. After serving in the RAF and then working in the Air Ambulance Service, William left this position in July 2017 to assume full-time royal duties. Currently based at Kensington Palace, the Cambridges have been stepping up their charitable and ceremonial work over the past few years. However, a move to Windsor would allow the couple to be close to the Queen and also embrace the country lifestyle they know and love. Andrew Loney, author of several royal books, told Express.co.uk, their TMS a PR war going on, not just between the Sussexes and the Cambridges, but a PR war by the monarchy to prepare everyone for life after the Queen. He claimed we are currently in a period of what can be called a soft regency whereby the Queen begins to step back. Prince Charles is accompanying Her Majesty on the engagements she is doing, so everyone is being prepared for Charles and Camilla. He said, as a result, William and Kate, who seem to be very popular, are stepping into the position that Charles and Camilla had. Because they are, I would say, almost more popular than Charles and Camilla, they TM they probably been given a higher role. Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit royal duties last for a new life in California. But royal commentator Kinsey Schofield, founder of royal website Today for Daily, claimed support for the couple across the pond is starting to plunge. She told GB News, they're causing a lot of trouble, not only over there but over here too. And while I would have told you after the Oprah interview that the support for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was huge, I will say over the last few months people are starting to see that not all of those accusations were correct. Ms. Schofield added that Harry and Meghan's popularity is waning in a dramatic way. 
she said, it is still an issue of age, and demographic. Younger people still clamor to them and it's really still the older people who are focused on common sense, that do understand tradition, that are aware of the history, that are starting to think perhaps the Duke and Duchess don't have the best intentions when it comes to their relationship with the royal family. The Sussexes hit out at the royals in their Oprah Winfrey interview in March. And their popularity has also plummeted in the UK in the wake of the TV interview. Positive opinion of Harry is at 34%, according to a recent YouGov poll, while favorable opinion of Meghan is at 26%. Follow below for live updates on the royal family, the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are playing a really important role for the royal family, according to a former member of the royal staff. Over recent years, Kate and William have been focusing on a few issues the royal family has traditionally not got involved in. This, according to a former staffer, makes the couple key members of the firm. The source told People magazine that by focusing on initiatives concerning topics such as mental health, Kate and William are playing a really important role in finding a point of connection for a different range of subjects that the family hasn't always connected with. Lady Louise Windsor will have an important role in the royal family in the future, according to a royal expert. Royal author Phil Dampier told The Sun, Lady Louise is definitely a favorite of the Queen and I can see her having an important role in the royal family in the future. Her Majesty sees a lot of Edward and Sophie and their children at Windsor Castle as they live nearby at Backshot Park. The Queen is very close to her mother Sophie and of course there has always been a bond between them because Sophie nearly died giving birth and Louise has had her eye condition to cope with. But she has grown into a lovely and intelligent young woman and the Queen adores her. Princess Charlene of Monaco has been forced to miss her beloved children's first day of school as she remains grounded in South Africa. Charlene and Prince Albert II's twin children Jack and Gabriella attended their first day of school on Monday. But they could be accompanied to their state-of-the-art institute only by their father, as Charlene remains stuck in her homeland, South Africa, due to an ENT infection. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should be reprimanded for destroying the public perception of the royal family, according to a US Republican. Anthony Sabatini, a state representative from Florida, said, I think she is a disgrace. As a whole I think she has done more to harm and destroy public perception of what was a noble and well-respected institution in Western civilization the royal family. I think she should be reprimanded by every US official for the horrible things she has said and has implied. The Countess of Wessex looked focused as the khaki-wearing royal tried her hand at gaming during a visit to RAF Wittering for the Wessex Cup. Sophie was snapped trying her hand racing on Dirt 2 as a part of an e-gaming challenge at RAF Wittering. The 56-year-old donned khaki during her visit to the annual military competition, dubbed the Wessex Cup. Kate and Prince William's successful marriage is down to their contrasting backgrounds, according to a former royal staffer. Jamie Lowther Pinkerton, a former palace courtier, told People magazine, they are bringing to the party different means of achieving the whole. He has the experience of knowing where the institution sits and seeing it evolve. The Duchess brings this pragmatic awareness of what it TMS like to be from a decent, down-to-earth family. Princess Charlotte and Prince George may boast a royal heritage, but at school they are just one of the kids. Charlotte and her older brother both attend Thomas's Battersea in South London. The princess returns to class as a year two pupil, while George is starting year four. In an attempt to ensure that their children have as normal an upbringing as possible, William and Kate have insisted Charlotte and George are not called by their royal titles at school. Instead both children use their parents' title as their surname, as they bid to blend in with the crowd, 